Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do for a couple reasons. First, the content. It is going to be a full face of makeup that I've had in my collection for over two years. I know for sure everything is at least over one year and I'm like 99.9% .9 sure all of it I've had for at least over two years. So we're about to put a lot of old makeup onto this face right here in the spirit of me trying to cut back on makeup purchases and use what I already have in my collection. I saw this video idea come through in my comment section and I thought it would be so much fun to do. I'm also really excited because this video is a collab and this is a collab with my friend Madison Miller. So we have been talking about doing a collab video and as I have gotten into the spirit of again just cutting back on makeup, using what I already have in my collection, using some of my favorite products, getting rid of some expired stuff in my collection. And then I saw the video idea come through. I was like, I need to collab with somebody on this, but who? And I thought Madison would be great because we both have been doing beauty YouTube and just social media in general for such a long time. I'm not exactly sure when Madison started, but I know that she's been doing this for a long time. We're kind of both in that OG beauty YouTuber category. So I thought it would be really fun. I know she's doing a full face. I think of like maybe her oldest makeup in her collection. I was trying to put like a time frame on this one because I do have more videos in this kind of particular style that I'm going to be doing coming up. But I'm really excited because in her comments she even said, I know I still have the Mary Luminizer. And I was like, girl, me too. Girl, me too. I still got the Mary Luminizer, my very first highlight. So I'm really excited to check out Madison's video. I will have her channel linked down below. And I just love Madison. I met her for the first time actually at a Generation Beauty. And I believe it was in 2019 was the first time I was able to meet with her in person. And then we don't live too far from each other now. She's actually been to Las Vegas a couple of times and we've been able to go out together. Most recently we went out, we saw the Chainsmokers one night and it was so much fun. We also connect on a lot of personal things, you know, we've both been doing this job professionally for a really long time we also recently have gone through public divorces which is very challenging um so we've really been able i know the first time madison came really we're able to talk and open up to one another not only just about the hardship of divorce and losing your partner you know madison is a mom to two girls on top of that but also what it feels like to have so many people judging you and leaving commentary on your personal life and just really that unique challenge of what we went through with our personal relationships. I just think Madison is great. I'm so excited to be doing this collaboration with her and I can't wait to see which makeup products she pulls out because one night we were getting ready together in her hotel room and we're both kind of looking at each other's makeup bags like what you got, what you got, what you got. So I think this is gonna be such a fun video to do. If you have any other videos in this kind of throwback series that you would like to see for me, please leave in the comments. I know a lot of you are also feeling overwhelmed with makeup right now. All the new releases, it's only gonna get crazier as we get towards holiday time. Um, and so I'm just trying to focus on using what I have and what I love. And we got a lot of old products to try today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we got the hair clipped back. We are zoomed in. Y'all, I can't believe what primer I'm about to use because I, I don't think I even realized I still had this in my collection. Sometimes I find makeup products in the weirdest spots and I'm like, what are you doing there? This was with my foundations. Why, I don't know. I have a separate drawer for like primers and powders. Why this is with my foundations, I don't know, but I found it and this is from Catrice and this is the Prime and Fine Aqua Fresh Hydro Primer, the Fresh It Up Primer. I have had this for years. Looks a little, a little crusty around. Okay, <clears throat> this is gonna be fine. I'm not gonna regret this for my skin at all. It's gonna be great. But I remember I used to rave about this one because what was this a dupe for? Oh my gosh, what was this a dupe for? Was it a makeup forever? This also is gonna be like a trip down memory lane style video. Uh, if you are new to my channel or you're coming from Madison's, hi, uh, my name is Samantha. I have been doing social media actually since 2009. I started way back in the OG blogger days on WordPress, <laughs> having to know HTML coding and all the things. I started out more as a book, beauty, and lifestyle blog, and I just blogged about all of the things, book reviews, beauty reviews, my first 5K, what was it, the 30 day shred, Jillian Michaels. 
I found a blog post the other day, like I got like a random spam comment and it was, the, the blog post was, what's healthier for you, daiquiris or margaritas? And I was like, was I just really bored that week? I didn't have anything else to write about. I got onto YouTube around 2015. My first year, I really was still focused on a being a book channel, book reviews, book hauls. Um, I'm also a self-published author of eight. My ninth novel is hopefully coming out this year. We're just waiting to hear back from my editor. Uh, so I've also been very heavily in the book industry. I ran a marketing company for a while. I worked in publishing for a while. I got on in 2015 and rebranded my channel in 2016 to be a beauty channel. So I've been definitely doing this for a long time. I still have my blog. I still write book reviews over there if you're ever curious. But I have been starting to incorporate some other topics onto my channel, um, such as books. I now live in Las Vegas. I moved to Vegas after my divorce. I come from Iowa. I also like to chat about the things that I do here, where I'm eating, and all of that fun stuff. So I do more than just beauty on my channel, but I would still say that I'm still a pretty beauty-focused channel. If this is your first time here, I hope that you will subscribe. I usually post about four to five times a week. And like I said, it's just getting a little overwhelming right now, and I it's it goes like this for me. I explained in my video where I kind of talk about this a little bit more that there's times where I just feel really overwhelmed and then I have to take a little bit of a break and then I'm like, oh, nope, I want all the new makeup releases again. It just kind of comes and goes in waves, but I'm just really trying to embrace it right now. I did a video recently on all of the oldest makeup in my collection and I was like, yeah. My foundation, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I mentioned this one in my oldest makeup. I didn't even know. Again, I find makeup in the weirdest place. I didn't even know I had this till the other day. I'm like trying to reorganize my life, but it's a little bit challenging. But I mentioned this one in my oldest makeup video, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this. And then because I had it pulled out, I did wear it over the weekend. And I was like, wait, this is really beautiful. Like, why have I not been wearing my double wear more? I said, I think it's when I was doing a little TikTok of all of my oldest makeup. I said, if you were on beauty YouTube in, you know, 2017 maybe, like, and you didn't have the Estee Lauder double wear, like, were you actually on beauty YouTube? I'm not sure because everybody talked about this one and it's really beautiful. I like to apply with a damp sponge and then I think it gives me a really nice medium coverage. It's not too full like a lot of people. When I first heard reviews on the double wear, everyone kept saying how full coverage it was and I've never really been a full coverage girl. But I think I can just get a nice solid medium buildable coverage on this one and it has such a natural finish and it's a very long wearing. I wore it out again, I wore it out the other night and I wore it out for a long time, okay? and I thought it held up so nicely. I do have more dry skin and also sensitive skin. For concealer, I mean, a lot of these products I'm gonna have mentioned in that oldest makeup video, but the CoverGirl Undercover Concealer, I mentioned that I actually lost this for a minute after my move. I misplaced it in a box and I didn't find it till a while later. So it was a little MIA in my collection for a bit. Uh, but you know what? That's fine. We're, we're going to use it again. For my foundation, I'm the shade 3N1. And then in the, uh, the CoverGirl, I'm a Classic Beige. Looks like L900 is the shade. I remember this being like a little bit light on me, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. And again, I'm just going to take my sponge to blend that out. I think, I want to say this sponge is from e.l.f. I think this is like the Sonia Kashuk dupe. My neighbor's walking by. The first, how do you always have to wonder what people think when they walk by and see me? They're like, what? What is it that girl does? For my powder, I have to say, the last time I did my declutter series, I usually do these at the end of the year. I really decluttered a lot of my powders, but I do still have the one from Laura Mercier, and this is just the translucent setting powder. You know, everybody also had this. Again, it was one of those. Like, if you didn't have it, were you actually on beauty YouTube? Were you even a YouTube? Were you even watching YouTube if you didn't have the Laura Mercier powder? Everybody talked about this one. So I know that I've had this for a hot minute. We'll say I never like lost my mind over this, but I think at the point that I started wearing it, I just wasn't a big powder wear in general. And I wasn't a big loose powder wearer. I still definitely would say I prefer a pressed powder, but I feel like I use this one often because that was really like, do you remember? Who remembers it? Like, should I do it in this video to clean up your contour? 
I just remember how many times I said that in videos and now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my contour I'm like Samantha were you really Samantha because I feel like I never honestly TBH feel like I never really got the hang of contouring and now I really don't but obviously that was all the rage back in the day and the Anastasia cream contour kit I had the KVD shade and light palette I remember being on I was in Chicago for a music festival and a Cubs game of course go Cubs go on our way to a music festival and I had just bought the KVD shade and light so obviously I brought it with me and I remember even telling my friend, I was like, I don't know, people say you're supposed to use like this cool tone, like almost grayish color as a contour. I was like, that just seems so weird to me. And she's like, I don't know, try it out. I was like, uh, okay. So, I mean, I did it and like everything was fine. I survived. I'm here to tell the story, but I can just remember being so like, is this right? Is this the shade I put on my face? It just seemed like such a weird concept to me i'm just gonna do my brows off camera i don't have any brow pencils that i've had for over a year or two years i go through those you know on a fairly re regular basis but i'm gonna do my brows off camera and then we'll keep going brows are done in the spirit of this video i use my benefit precisely my brow because i've i've been using it for several years just not that particular one but i will link everything that i use in the description box granted if it's still available i know the eyeshadow palette is not and I was kind of surprised when I saw that the other day but I'm gonna move on to my bronzer so like I mentioned I'm doing the ranking series so I just ranked all my bronzers and I was like why haven't I used this one from elf in so long like I remember I loved this bronzer so this is the forever sun-kissed bronzer I think these are like the primer infused they have the blush and the bronzers and I remember buxom had the primer infused blushes and then i think elf came out with them so i think we were all like trying to dupe the buxom because i also love the buxom i recently found seychelles our weather just took a drastic turn we were all trying to dupe the buxom okay las vegas weather has been bananas recently i was here last year too i moved last april and we had monsoon season but like these storms are coming out of nowhere i feel bad for my neighbor i just saw walking Cause he's, I don't know where he's gonna go, but geez, <laughs> this weather's crazy. But I'm gonna use from e.l.f. the bronzer. I'm using a Refer 30. I'm trying to do a better job of keeping up with cleaning my brushes, but it is very challenging. I always know I'm having a very productive morning when I also sneak in cleaning just like a handful of brushes and like five makeup sponges. I've tried to get into the routine of cleaning off my kitchen counter every morning. I wake up, I go for a walk, usually with my dog, do some yoga, make a tea, and then at least once a week, if not twice a week, I try to get in and just do a little bit of cleaning and organizing for my brushes because my brushes are always everywhere. They end up on my floor. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. And kind of the spirit of these videos is also in part to help me stay organized because organization has always been a big thing for me. My mom watches my videos. Mom mom can verify for you that i've just always been this way even before the makeup days like she would always threaten to throw away my stuff in my room if i didn't organize it and then she usually would just clean my room for me anyways <laughs> thanks mom but still as an adult it is something that i really struggle with and i'm trying to get better i'm actually going on a trip i have a six hour flight like what am i gonna do for six hours and i was like well i guess i could download some shows I don't usually, I don't watch a lot of TV, but I do have the Netflix app. And so usually if I'm flying for a decent amount of time, I will try to watch a show. Like most recently I watched uh, the second season of Bridgerton, I think when I went to New York. But I was like, okay, what am I gonna do for six hours? I'm flying separate from my friend. So I'm like, I'm just gonna be by myself. I was getting my nails done today and they were watching like a Netflix show was on and then it ended and it was like, what do you wanna watch next? And it started popping up all of these different shows. So I was trying to watch it to see like if anything would pop up that I would be interested in. Uh, for my blush, I had quite a few blushes that I could have grabbed, but I wanted to go with this one from Nabla. Again, my blush ranking should already be up if you wanna see me rank over 50 blushes in my collection. But this is their Skin, skin Glazing Blush in Independence. And I'm gonna use from BK Beauty, this is their 104 brush. I mentioned in there that the Nabla blushes I think are pretty. They're just kind of one of those that I tend to forget about. 
I just don't reach for them a lot. And I know I've had them for a while, so I want to uh, pull it out and give this one another shot. Look how beautiful that is. Like, why don't I use this more? I, I, I don't know. But I'm watching all these Netflix shows that scroll by, and I saw, I think it's called Dream Home Makeover, with, I, I'm going to say Studio McGee. I know that's a line that's, that's available at Target and I really like that line. My quarantine project was decorating my old house. Um, me and my ex-husband moved in 2019 to another town in Iowa and it was like a, such a, it was such a nice house and I was like so excited about it and it was where I thought we were going to be for a long time and have a family there and all of that. Obviously none of that worked out but um, I wanted to decorate it, make it really beautiful. So I started at the end of 2019, but then when 2020 happened and it was like, well, what are we doing anyways? I really threw myself into decorating it. Like I hired like an interior design app to help me in all of these things. And that's where I found the Studio McGee line at Target and I bought so much from it. And I know the woman, and I think it's her husband, they have like a Netflix show about home makeovers. And I'm like, okay, that could be fun. I mentioned Mary Luminizer. I think both me and Madison are going to be using this one today. So this one, when I mentioned it in my oldest makeup I have in my collection, I have laughed a lot that so many people say that this was also their first highlighter. I bought mine off of Amazon. I mean, I probably purchased this in like 2016, maybe 2017. It came with a brush. I felt super fancy. Um, but this is what I'm going to be using from Moda Brushes. I'm using their eye contour brush. This, this to me is too big for my for my particular eyes, but I like to use it as a highlight. I have not used Mary Lou in a hot sec, but it's like one of those that I just I can't get rid of it. I just can't get rid of her. My bestie who has seen me through a whole lot, all of the ups and downs. It's like, how can we get rid of Mary Luminizer? And there's also the show um, The Home Edit. I can't, I think it's called like getting organized with the home edit or something like that. I followed them on Instagram too and they're all about, they like go to like celebrity houses and organize for them like Khloe Kardashian's pantry. I saw them post that on Instagram, but I'm like, maybe I should watch, you know, shows like this, get some inspo, consume. I'm really big on like what you consume, especially media wise, social media, TV, podcasts you listen to, even like who your inner circle is and what you're discussing with them. I think all of that really reflects back on ourselves and our moods and our thoughts and even our actions. So I try to be very careful or at least very conscious of what it is that I do consume, the books I read. Maybe that would be something good because just like nothing else interests me. I'm going through all of these shows and I'm like, I don't care about dating shows. I don't care about the real housewives. I don't even care about like the selling the OC or something like that, like real estate shows. Like, I just don't really care. But I'm like, I just don't feel like motivated by those kinds of shows. They, they, and, and not to say like everything you consume has to motivate you in some way. Like we need downtime. We need free time. We need fun time. For me, that's like watching YouTube videos. I read a lot of fiction books from my blog still. Also for me, like I love sports. Like sports doesn't necessarily motivate me in any sort of way. I'm just a huge sports lover. But if I'm not watching sports, I just, I really don't watch a lot of TV. So I thought maybe this will be a way to motivate me, give me some ideas for my apartment. I really struggle with like visualization. So I'm like, maybe if I watch these, I'll get some more ideas or just how to stay better organized. I don't know. I'm gonna download the shows. I'm gonna watch them on the plane and we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll let you know. If you have any shows or just anything on like organizing, let me know. Cause I get very overwhelmed very easily. But for my eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna use from Natasha Denona and this is the gold eyeshadow palette. So from my oldest makeup video, I mentioned quite a few eye products and I did do another, I think it was just a get ready with me. And I used the ABH Soft Glam cause I saw so many people request that one. But I also saw a lot of requests coming through for the Natasha Denona Gold. So when I went to link this in my video, I couldn't find it. I was like, oh, is this palette? Is this no longer available? Um, I know at the time that I'm filming, Natasha Denona is having like a little sale at Sephora and I believe the mini gold was included. So maybe those might still be for sale. I'll link the mini gold if you're interested. Um, but this is what I'm going to use today. And I think I'm just going to start with one of my favorite shades from the palette, which is this one right here. And I'm using a Sigma E25. I've had this palette since like 2018. 
I remember um, I put my house on the market in 2019 when me and my ex-husband were moving and this palette was sent to me from a subscriber and I was viciously paranoid about it when we would have showings for the house. I would leave and I would take my dog and my computer and my camera and then I would also take the Natasha Denona gold palette. That's like how concerned I was about this palette. Like what if a makeup lover comes and they steal my stuff? I was like, so paranoid so it's so funny to me to think back to that. But I definitely know that I've owned this one for well over two years. I use the same brush and then I pick up the lightest matte shade. I kind of want to play with a little bit more of the duochrome in the palette just for something fun. So I'm going to take that light matte and I'm just kind of adding it to the inner part of my eye, but then I'm going to sweep it up and around as well. Blend those together. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more fallout with the palette than I remember, but also it's been a minute since I've uh, used this one. So it's like, what, what do I actually remember? You know, quite honestly. And then I don't know why I just, I kind of want to use this shade right here. Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. That seems fun. That's what we're going to go with. So I'm just going to use my finger and I'm just going to tap. <laughs> going to tap this right in the center. Usually with the gold palette, I really do like a brown smoky eye or sometimes I do like brown on the lid and then I'll do like the blue for the lower lash line. But I don't know why I opened up this palette and I was like, that's what's calling to me. Why? Well, I have no idea. Uh, I'm filming this on a Friday. My big plans after this is film another video, go get my dog from daycare, and uh, our complex that we live at, they feed us on Fridays. So I'm gonna go down and get some chicken nugs for dinner. And that's it, that's, that's probably about all that I'm doing. So I don't know, I don't know why I'm like feeling a fun makeup look when I have nowhere to go, but also, it's Vegas. Like, you never... Things can pop up at the last minute. Just last Saturday. It was 9.45. I was walking my dog. And my friend texted me and was like, I know it's late notice, but can you get to Chateau by 11 for my birthday? I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, I went, but I was like, what? I thought I was about to go to bed. Ooh, the shade is looking fun. I know that I've used the shade from the palette. It's definitely not my most, like, reached for, but... I think it's a fun one. I just added some black to my waterline. And then for my lower lash line, I'm gonna do the light matte brown and the dark on a pencil brush. So if you were looking for a neighbor update, he came back, I saw him <laughs> walk across and I was like, yeah, he, um, I know that he normally walks more than that. Not just sound creepy, but like I, I sit in my office and I, I just observe all day. I know that he walks for longer than that. And he was probably like, nope, I'm turning back around. Because he was also shirtless, pelting rain, could not have felt good. So that is our current Las Vegas weather update for you. You can be outside having a great time. And next thing you know, it's crazy wind. Vegas <laughs> keeps flooding. <laughs> I don't know if anyone has seen the videos of like the rain pouring through at Circus Circus. It has also ha happened at Circa, which really sucks. I mean, Vegas is just not equipped for rain. But last night, one of my friends was driving home from the strip and they were getting pounded. And she said within 10 minutes, I mean, the water was past car tires because there's just, there's not like a lot of the drainage here because it's just not something that we deal with. So we get flash flood warnings on our phones basically every single day right now and they just truly like come out of nowhere so it's crazy be safe out there vegas oh see still simple fast and easy but like wow. natasha i forgot how much fun this palette could be i thankfully do not have a mascara that i've had in my collection for over two years i would feel very concerned with my eye safety if that was the case but I'm just going to slap on a mascara real quick and then we will finish off. So I use the Milani Highly Rated Anti-Gravity Mascara and then we're just gonna finish it off with lips. I didn't have a lot of lip products in my oldest makeup video, which I was kind of a little bit surprised by, but I think a lot of the older lip products that I had are more like liquid lipsticks and then I haven't been using liquid lipsticks as much, so I've decluttered a bunch of them. 
but I wanted to use from Charlotte Tilbury, one of my favorite duos right here. We have Iconic Nude and Very Victoria. I've had these for a very long time. My little Iconic Nude and then even uh, Very Victoria, I think you can tell is pretty loved on, pretty loved on. So that is the combo that we are using today. We got Charlotte and Natasha in this video. Right here is Iconic Nude and then I'm just gonna add very Victoria on top. Like you can just never go wrong with this nude lip combo. It just isn't gonna happen. Okay, after the lip is done, that is going to do it for today's video. A full face of makeup that I have owned for over two years in my makeup collection. Honestly, I feel like I probably could have even pushed this to, to three, but again, I have some more videos that I'm gonna be doing in the throwback style coming up, so get ready for those, get prepared for those, but I hope you enjoyed seeing this look. I really like how everything came out. Again, the Estee Lauder Double Wear I think is such a pretty foundation. Even the CoverGirl Concealer, I feel like I remember it being so much lighter, but I don't feel like this looks bad at all. The powder worked well, the e.l.f. bronzer, I mean the blush, like I feel like everything's working. I love the lip products. I still continually wear those, so that's not a shock to me. But even using the gold palette, it was fun to do something a little bit different than I normally do. So that was fun. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I got the look with the Natasha. Of course, we got the OG Mary Lou on. So I really had fun with this one. I hope you enjoyed seeing me get this makeup look. I'd love to know, do you have any of these products that I used in your collection? How old are some of the oldest makeup products in your collection? I would love to know. Again, be sure to check out Madison's video. I'm so excited to see what products she is going to be using. I'm wondering if we'll have any that overlap, but it might just be the Mary Luminizer. I want to know what eyeshadow palette she's using. That's going to make me very curious. I could see her doing maybe like an Urban Decay or a Tarte. Mm, I could see her doing like an Urban Decay or a Tarte palette. So we will have to see. Again, I will have her channel linked down below. Thank you so much to Madison for collabing with me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye.